Hey, it's Rob Hefner here with the town of Pine Top Lakeside. This is Talk of the Town, hanging out here at Town Hall. I have with me, he, he's the coffee meister, that's what we call him. <laughs> it's Mike from uh, Pine Top Coffee House. And Hi, Rob. Brewing company, or, or no, roasting, roasting company. company. I don't know, brewing. She said brewing, and you come in here, and I'm like, oh, it's not brewing, it's roasting. You brew coffee. I do brew coffee. You roast coffee beans. I do that. <laughs> so, um, and so, Mike, you're, you're a veteran. I am. Thank you for your service. It was my honor. Um, you are also the interim president of the, give me the official title here. The Chamber of Commerce for Pine Top Lakeside. So a little difference in the Chamber of Commerce. For, so we've had some things in the past that we had a Chamber of Commerce. We're going to address that right up front and just say there was a Chamber of Commerce. It kind of fell off after COVID, didn't really get back up on its feet. This is a completely new organization. It is. People, everything. It is. Okay. You had a first meeting, which was not this month, but last month, which was huge. That was our first general session. Um, we actually started the thought of re rebuilding the chamber last July. So myself and about 10 other business and civic leaders got together, started having conversations about what we could do to better support businesses in Pine Top Lakeside. After a lot of discussions with a lot of different businesses, uh, we decided that the best thing to do would be to refire a chamber of commerce. So... We uh, we elected a board. We put some elected officials in place, temporary interim. That's why I'm there. And uh, we launched. And we've had amazing response. Uh, we've got over 100 members already. And, you know, our objective is to get as close to 200 members as we can by the end of the year. Uh, we're going to strive to do that. I encourage anybody that's listening to this, if you're not a member, feel free to pick up the phone and give us a call. Okay, we're going to get into the what's in it for me as a chamber member a little later, not this show, All right. because you're so new, you're sort of finding out the things that it's like, what do we need to do? Because everybody's like, oh, you need this, you need that. And, you, and some of them you do, and some of them you don't. And you're going to define what your boundaries are, right? Exactly. Okay. Now, we've looked at already, you're talking about a, a website. You've got a Facebook presence. We've got a Facebook and an Instagram presence. We're building a website as we speak. Uh, so we hope to have that accomplished or at least a landing page over the next 10 days. And that will give us something to be able to build out as time goes on. And it'll also give people a place to go to understand a little bit about what the chamber is about and what benefits they can get from us. Okay, so let's talk this way. What do you want? Why did you want a Chamber of Commerce? Well, when I moved to Pine Top four years ago, I went to the old Chamber of Commerce and I was looking for help, support. Uh, in terms of demographic information, who is the who's the audience up here basically for my business? And I I got very little. You know, I walked out of the I walked out of the building with a handful of brochures. Uh, I still joined the chamber when I came on board. Uh, I was a member of the chamber for my first year. That was COVID year. Uh, because of COVID, they came back and said, "We'll give you your second year free." I said. I'd like to understand what kind of benefits I'm going to get from this and what this is doing to support businesses. And I, I just really didn't get much back for, from it. So, you know, uh, as you know, the thing just kind of fell apart during COVID. And that's kind of what started us all thinking about it. Okay. So in the membership, talk, can you talk through who the board members are right now, at least or the interim board members? And you said interim, and I, I think it was very nice last night at the meeting, you were talking about it. And you made mention that, look, you know, we didn't get elected. We kind of like put ourselves into these positions. You like right. maybe each other decided, but you want the first official board members or non-interim to be elected by that after a year. Or exactly. So exactly. That's what we're hoping to accomplish. I mean, we've, we've got some really solid people on this, on this committee. So we've got Terry Young is a, is the treasurer. He owns a pine top olive oil company. Uh, Stephanie Crane, who owns mountain estate real estate experts, mountain retreat real estate experts, easy for me to say. Uh, she's the interim secretary. And then we got a board of about seven others. Uh, Kelly is still, she owns Chrissy's ski shop. Uh, David Yonko, he's the VP at National Bank of Arizona. Uh, sorry, just, just a couple of them just escaped me, but it's it's a solid, solid group of people that are really interested in supporting and promoting Pine Top and our local businesses. Right. Okay. What else can you tell people uh, to expect? I know you've got meetings set up, which is good, but what else can you expect moving forward? Any timeline that's already set or where are you at? Well, we've already got... Uh, 
We've already got guest speakers for each of our next four meetings, and we've also got sponsors for each of our next four meetings. So what people can expect when they come to one of our meetings is a, a brief reception, about 30 minutes. We provide some snacks and drinks for everybody, and then we move into a general session. Uh, we typically open up with just some general discussion about what's happening with the chamber, and then the guest speakers introduced. Uh, they spend about 20 minutes uh, with their conversation, and then uh, they're willing to take questions from anybody that might be asking them questions. And then we just kind of close up about some of the things that we're, we're moving towards in the future and give people the chance to ask any questions that they might have. Okay. So the meetings moving forward, now the mixers are the mixers open, like if people want to come in to look to join still? Absolutely. Okay. And if, if people are wanting to join and they just want to come to one meeting, I'd, I'd like if, for them to give me a call or just stop by or uh, send an email to the chamber email address, which is pinetopchamber at gmail.com. And we'll, we'll get them information, let them know when the next meeting is going to be so that they can attend if they want to. And we'll let them come in for, for that meeting. Okay. Um, so, but other than that, it's going to be for members only. For members only going forward. Okay. Anything else you'd like people to know? Well, I think we're just super excited about, you know, you mentioned that you mentioned the name earlier, the, the Chamber of Commerce for Pine Top Lakeside. And the reason that we did that is because the word for in language, it, it just denotes, uh, you know, it denotes that you're working for, toward somebody else and you're working to give them uh, benefits and that's really what we're trying to accomplish. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Appreciate that. Thanks, Rob. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode of Talk of the Town. Remember, any more information, you can look down below. Just give us a click or give us a call and uh, be happy out there. <laughs>